Welcome everyone to Asia Blockchain Review. My name is Darko, your host this evening, and today we'll be looking at some of the breaking news articles from this week. Robotu, a blockchain-enabled service robot ecosystem that aims to bring service robots into consumers' daily life, is demonstrating its vision to create a new robot economy, integrating intelligent services into the hospitality industry. The company aims to deploy at least 100,000 robots over the next five years, with some of them costing as little as $1,000 US dollars, making it extremely cost-effective for businesses. ICO investment fending off fraud sidestepping scams. ICO investors have suffered a collective loss of US $1.3 billion in 2017. The top three largest ICO scams were Pincoin, US $660 million in damages, RIS Bank, US $600 million, and SaveDroid, US $50 million. The ICO scams definitely took their toll on the industry, but we are starting to see less and less of this occurrence from happening. As more governments implement laws and regulations in the crypto sphere, we are seeing less and less of these scams from occurring across the globe. Indian police hold special crypto training to fight scams. The Indian Ministry of Home Affairs has launched a special training program aimed at better equipping police officers with knowledge and domain expertise in cybercrime related to cryptocurrency. The question here is at what level are the police being trained at? Is it at a local police level or a federal police level? What kind of cryptocurrency training are they getting? Will it be effective? Thailand's Grunsky enhances bank customer service with blockchain. Bank of Ayuda, PCL and its group companies in Thailand, collectively known as Grunsky, has announced the development of innovations under its Think Digital First concept, which involves the implementation of blockchain technology and deep learning AI. At the Bangkok FinTech Fair 2019, Grunsky showcased innovations, technologies and initiatives in line with the latest digital transformation and consumer lifestyle changes in order to enhance service efficiency to a wide range of customers. This is great news as it is another example of mass adoption kicking in through the doors. So that just about wraps up the news highlights this week. My name is Darko. I look forward to seeing you next time on Asia Blockchain Review.